Hi, I'm Zach Orth. I play Aaron on Revolution, and this is Comics Online. Now, Aaron, now that the quest has been completed, you know, they rescued Charlie's brother even though he's dead, that uh, he kind of wants to, you know, get out of this whole mess. He, I don't want to say he's a cowardly character, but he sort of doesn't want to involve himself in, you know, all of the craziness that's been going down. He's been shot at and stuff. What is his mindset going into the back half of the season? I think you're absolutely right. And I think that, uh, in fairness, I think that that is probably what most people's mindset would be. You know, thrust into a situation like this. That's, you know, you've got to be kidding me. That this, this can't be happening. Um, and I think that after 10 or 11 plus episodes of, uh, of being in denial about that, I think that it's finally time for uh, Aaron to sort of go, okay, well, this is happening. And rather than try and put my life and the world back together uh, to what it once was, I, I can't do that, and I'd better move forward and see what there is out there. Speaking about seeing what there is out there, we now know that there's power pendants out there, and, well, Aaron made his whole life and, you know, off of, you know, having power and working for Google and stuff. Will he prove invaluable coming for the next few episodes? Uh, yeah, I think that uh, as the sort of mythology and the reasoning be behind the blackout is teased out, uh, and as that sort of gets revealed to the characters and to the audience, I think another deeper layer of that is some of the characters, Aaron's included, surprising involvement in those reasons behind. And, uh, and I think that for Aaron... It's a double uh, whammy that it's sort of he's he's blown away by how it happened, and then he's blown away by how he could in some way be involved in how it happened. Ooh, that Ooh. sounds that's like very spoiler territory. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm I'm treading as cautiously as I possibly can. Well, now Aaron's not the only genius in the group. Rachel is back. We're going to see them kind of join forces or kind of butt heads technologically in terms of what's coming up. Uh, yeah, and I, and I got, uh, there's a good, long, three, four episode arc where uh, it's just Aaron and Rachel uh, off on their own, and uh, it, uh, it it does not go well. <laughs> but it was fun to do. Nice, nice. Now, finally, the show has a lot of action sequences, and so far Aaron's been kind of removed from that. Are we going to finally get to see Aaron get involved in a lot of these action-packed fighting sequences in the second half? Absolutely, I get to do some some stuff like that in uh, in some upcoming episodes and I think for the character it's a good thing and I know that for me it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Can you tell us anything about a stunt you enjoyed doing? Uh, there, there, That's funny. Uh, there's, there was uh, 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 Rachel and I take out two guys uh, fully uh, locked in an abandoned delivery truck with them. Oh wow! We'll be that's not too spoilery. No, that's very that's pretty vague. But yeah, no, there's some there's some real fighting and it's fun to do. 